Ayanda Mshlongo. She's there covering the special provincial official funeral for Derek McBride. Uh, Derek McBride is the father of the former iPad boss Robert McBride and I understand Ayanda is, will be actually in conversation with Robert McBride. Ayanda, very good morning to you once again. Good afternoon rather. Good afternoon to you, Blaine, and good afternoon to our viewers. Well, certainly we've come to the end of the funeral service for the late Mr. Derek McBride. And a very moving uh, tribute, uh, Blaine, to a man that the ANC described as unwavering and principled in his commitment to uh, the uh, liberation struggle. We heard uh, from um, friends um, and community members, Mr. Desmond Dessau, who is representing uh, the Wentworth community. Uh, the work that uh, Mr. Mike Bride did in the uh, community and how even in his older days having of course committed most of his life uh, to the liberation of the people of South Africa that he still fought social uh, injustice he still fought to better the lives of uh, his community of course we also heard a moving tribute from one of his comrades uh, Lieutenant General Ramlikan whom he served with uh, on Robben Island and uh, the fond memories that the two had but also of course to strengthening um, just stressing the point that uh, ANC leaders throughout the week have uh, said and uh, people who have uh, sent through the through their condolences on the type of man Mr. McBride was and earlier on we Blaine was speaking about how he was described as a rebel on uh, Robben Island and how he would not take uh, prison rules and of course he also uh, alluded uh, to that fact but without wasting much time let me now uh, bring in his son uh, Robert, M Robert McBride. Mr. McBride firstly our deepest condolences uh, to your family so thank you so much uh, for agreeing to speak to us as the SABC. A moving tribute certainly uh, for your uh, father. Uh, just your moments this is now in a time for the first time that we've been able to get uh, your reaction of course uh, to the loss of your dad. Well I think he's, uh, he was honoured as a um, freedom fighter in his own right, and, uh, and that is uh, in a, in a manner befitting him. We'd like to say thank you to the the um, provincial government and the provincial cabinet for uh, passing the cabinet resolution for the leadership of the ANC, um, um, led by Comrade Zikalala, and uh, so they have honoured him in his own right. He also happens to be my comrade and also happens to be my father. So, uh, Mr. McBride, I mean, we heard through this, uh, the, the Premier's uh, speech, uh, particularly relating to yourself and the relationship that you had uh, with your dad. And I was going through the research and learning that, in fact, you were his commander uh, at one point. Just take us through uh, the, your struggle days and, and working with your dad. And I know that your grandfather as well also influenced him and sort of he passed down uh, 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 politics to you and then bringing you forth into uh, fighting for uh, the struggle for liberation? Well, 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 an easy way out to explain it, I could say, well, it's not my fault, it's in the DNA. <laughs> but uh, it was a conscious decision for all of the, uh, those of us in the unit to be part of the unit, including my father. And uh, there wasn't any instance of seniority. The, we had a, a strict uh, command structure. And he played his part and never hesitated, even on different roles, uh, even to that of a fully-fledged combatant. He was a man who stood by the truth, was unwavering in his principles. He from what I gathered from the speakers, may not have been happy with uh, where society is, with the way the movement is moving. You were more closer to us. Tell us, uh, uh, Mr. Mbappé, with his, looking at the current situation in the country and looking at the African National Congress. Well, he, he's, um, his approach generally, uh, generally is that, as you had heard, is he um, rejected mediocrity and he thought we could always do more, uh, which is a view also hold, that we can do more. Uh, but fix up um, 300 years in a short space of time. So um, what we did do is uh, try our best. If you look at the country from 94 until now, we've achieved a lot. Many more people have houses, have running water, have electricity. Um, a lot of people take that for granted. It was not there before. And it's as a result of uh, political liberation uh, enabled everyone to have a voice and to ensure that people's 
grievances are heard and that service delivery can be given to all. So um, some people who had nothing are now having something. Some who had a little bit have a little bit more. And um, so, and that's how we should continue until we have a, a society with less inequality, with um, uh, less um, unemployment and uh, people accepting their common humanity and common destiny in, in a non-racial democratic country. The speaker said there's certainly a lot that can be learned from the man um, who your father was. What do you want South Africans to take, and particularly um, the younger leaders coming through in the movement, and in generally, I mean, he worked with the community. We understand he was very passionate about young people. What is it that uh, people can learn from your father? Well, the most important issue is that uh, perseverance pays off, and you have to approach the transformation with tenacity of purpose, with proper programs, and you have to deliver by deadlines. And he was a bit of a slave driver, if I can use the term in a way, in that you had to complete tasks. So as a youngster growing up and as a member of the community, that was his way. If something needed to be done, it had to be done at the same time. So we should learn, and youngsters should learn, that we should tighten up our deliver delivery targets and get things done quicker. Um, so, yes, that's the issue. So, is to to go and get things done. Yeah. My last question before I let you go, Mr. McBride. When your father uh, finished, it, it served his people, of course, in a more proactive role in politics, took a step back, but continued, continued to work within the community. But what we see now of leaders within the ANC is the strive for and battle for positions and power, which is uh, uh, something of, uh, 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 it's different. I mean, he came from a generation where there was to serve the community, and now we see a possibly different a breed of, 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 of cadres of of uh, the African National Congress? What I noticed with the, the planning and the process for the... Uh, at short notice we had to put the official funeral together. Uh, I've seen an unprecedented cooperation and collaboration with all levels of government in all uh, tiers. And I've seen the government and the ANC work as a well-oiled machine, unlike I've ever seen before. So his uh, passing it can be used as a unifying um, uh, event. Uh, it, it was almost impossible in really in 24 hours, maximum 48 hours, to put it together and it, and it was a, a successful send-off. Yeah. Mr. McBride, I don't want to keep you. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for your time and our condolences Thank again you to you and your family. Right, uh, Mr. Robert McBride, of course, the son of the late 88 year old Mr. Derek McBride, who was being laid to rest here. This funeral service has uh, now been concluded here at the uh, City Hall. And of course, uh, the uh, family will be moving uh, to a crematorium, which uh, will be a private affair uh, just for the family. But certainly, a lot of praise, uh, a lot of appreciation coming through for the speakers and many of them urging not only the members of the ANC but society as well because Mr. McBride not only served and worked with uh, youngsters within uh, the African National Congress but also the community of Wentworth and urging uh, the young people uh, to learn uh, from him and to follow in his footsteps. He had a number of projects that he had started in the uh, community and there were many promises that uh, those who are going to follow are going to uh, continue the work Work that Mr. Derek McBride had started in his community. And with that, Blaine, it's back to you in studio. Great insight into the struggle stalwart that was Derek McBride, born in 1932.